And the next thing I purchased from her collection is this brush. It's a very, very, very fine tip eyeliner brush. I'm going to use it with like my, um, what is it? Not the liquid, the cream eyeliner. <laughs> I'm going to use it with my cream eyeliner because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not so perfect in applying my eyeliner. So, you know, this be having a pointy tip will definitely help me get that precise line that I want. And it does help me tell you the truth. I really like it. And I have been learning a lot of improvements when it comes to my eyeliner because of this brush. Now to move forward, um, I don't know if some of you guys know the be some beauty secrets, but one of my beauty secrets is using paint brushes. I use paint brushes on my eyes. Um, this I use to apply my um. Do y'all see this dog though? Do y'all really see this dog? And then she stops and looks at me, and then she sneezes. Um, so I use paint brushes. Um, this I use to apply my cream eyeliner as well. And this I use to apply, like, color within my little, um, my, t what do you call that place? Your tear duct or whatever it will be. Um, <laughs> I use these to death for it. Um, I purchased this from Michaels for $2.99 each. They're really cheap. And, you know, you can pick them up from Michaels. I just suggest wash them first. I won't suggest you going out there and buying the whole set so you can use for your makeup. No. What I'm suggesting is just little things like this, you know, definitely do go a long way. Especially if you don't want to purchase the brushes or whatnot. Um, to move along, since we're talking about eyeliner, I might as well move to my cream eyeliners. I purchased this from the Formula Physique. It's a cream eyeliner set. It comes in several different colors. You have, like, the bronzy color right here. And this actually, the funny thing, this, I actually used it today for my eyes. I don't know if you can see the browns, but I use it as my, um, my base for my eyes. And the next color that's on it is the gold this is like a real real bright gold and all these could be used for liquid liner and has bases I mean for cream liners and has bases for well as well because um they do a good job it has a cream base this is like a neutral brown it does have a little hue of um gold in it but it's a real nice color and then, of course, we have the regular black, which I already did my fingers into. Well, not my fingers, but my brush into. And then we have this lovely blue. I absolutely love this one. I cannot wait to put it to use. Um, Guys, I just have to show y'all something real quick. I'm going to move my camera and show y'all this ratchetness that my dog is on. Ratchetness. Pearl, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she's still looking at me as though I'm crazy. What? Could y'all ask her what is she doing? What are you doing? Back it up. Back it up. She. She better get her life. She over there on my scarf like it's hers to play with. Freaking dog, man. Anyhow, so that's that's it for the. <laughs> Physicians Formula Eyeliners. Now, these are good. They are so good. I believe the whole set was like, um, $13. They usually come three in the set, but I purchased three, and then the other three I purchased had an extra color that I already had. So, I give that one to my little sister, but, um, they, you can find that at Walgreens or CVS or whatever. Um, to move along, I did purchase more brushes. Um, I did speak this speak to you guys about this brush line in my last video on my review of my Naira's hair. I was giving a little giveaway. And I did speak to you guys briefly. But this is the Soho line brushes. Um, I purchased all these from Wal from Walgreens. Yeah. And um, these run individually for like 14 and change I believe each. That's like the minimum price. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 and then I also have the kabuku brush kabuki brush to it um I did get this whole set from Walgreens like I said you have the um powder brush you have the foundation brush you have the eyeshadow brush eyeshadow eyeliner brush powder brush foundation brush um eyebrow brush eyelash brush um crease brush um 
eyeliner brush, crease brush, crease brush, crease brush. So I really love this set. I love the design on it. I love the um it kind of comes off like the Sony Kasha brushes, but the design is a little bit different because in here has like a pocket, I guess you would say. But the Sony Kasha is just round. But I absolutely love these brushes. Um I don't recommend you buying them all at once because it's, it's gonna be pricey. But you know you could buy little by little. Um they're really soft. I love the the hair on there whatever they use but it's really soft yes it did shed a little bit when I first purchased it but what I should have done was wash it first so now I have learned my lesson wash it first then use then you know you prevent that shedding but I absolutely love this brush set and I use the kabuki only for my um my translucent powder my all over translucent powder that's what I use this for but um I love this as well it's pretty soft it's so nice against the skin um, I don't remember the price of this, but like I said, you can find it at your local Walgreens. It's also at CVS and it's also at Walmart, okay? Now, to move along, we're going to move to last but not least. I purchased two translucent powder. The reason why I bought two was because I was trying to test out which one was going to be the best for my skin and which one I like better. So, you know, I went out and I purchased the two cheapest ones that I could find. And the first one that I found that I purchased was the e.l.f. translucent powder. And then I also purchased the Black O Pearl Translucent Powder. Now, um, between these two, I love both equally. The only difference that I could say between this is the Black O Pearl is a little bit more messy to me. I don't know why, but I guess because of the net and the top when you open it, it's kind of messy. But the good thing about this, it does match um, most African American complexion. So you do have that nice looking... Um, brown hint to it i guess um that goes on it comes it goes on you know white at first but it definitely blends into your skin the same as the elf um definite high definition powder it's just that this one is white and once you put it on it's gonna be white but like after a few seconds it does go into your color just don't do it too much you know you want to take a certain amount into your heat into the powder and like i said i use my kabuki brush on this dip it in and then I dab it where I want to dab it especially when I'm setting my concealer or when I'm setting my foundation that's when I put these two bad boys to use either or doesn't really matter I use any so um that's all for my haul I did purchase plenty more items as far as beauty stuff I did also get um elf setting spray that was also from Walgreens going for um no I'm sorry that was at Walmart $3. I purchased the Wet n Wild from Walgreens. This is also going for $0.99 since it was $1.99. Um, and I think that... Oh, no, no, no. I know I had something else. I did purchase other stuff. Um, Gosh. Okay, so I did definitely purchase something else some other stuff i just didn't get the chance to show you guys in this video i'm so sorry i totally forgot about them i also purchased this from walgreens when it's having a 9 cent sale this is a purple this is a green this is a black grayish this is a baby blue and this is like a um uh navy blue um all these colors was 99 cents each these are from the wet and wild pencil lines i absolutely love these they make a good setting for your um eyeshadow or just to wear like that has a liquid liner if you choose so you can use your um liner brush and use that as liquid liner so if anything you guys seen in this video that you would like to see me do a review uh, um tutorial on or or a uh, review on Make sure you comment down below, and I will definitely get to that as soon as possible, okay? Now, don't forget to like, comment, and rate. It is free. You can also subscribe. It's all free. Um, I really appreciate you guys, like I said earlier. And until I see you again in another video, bye.